Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrass, and welcome back to Let's Play Ed and Nettie, The Misadventures for Pl Sony PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, and Microsoft Xbox. In the last video, we played the first of the two bonus scams, Revenge of Edzilla. And now, we are going to play Rebel Robot Ranch. I've already shown off the jawbreakers that I had that I got all throughout the last video so all we need to do is actually not go over to the movie booth I, th I was under the impression that the movie booth was where you went for the second level but oh I am cool like a cabbage guy Violence only begets violence, Eddie. Stupid animal. These are so cute. So that's what that does. If you go to the movie booth, you'll find out who is behind the voices of the Ed Boys. Interesting. Also, okay, yeah, I am back in the cul-de-sac, so I do have to make my way back manually. I was trying to grab that coin, and I accidentally triggered the movie booth there, and, well, that's what happens if you walk up towards it. You get to see who voiced Ed and Nettie. I was going to say that for the next video, but, well... Since it was so short, I don't really mind doing that. It turns out that this robot movie poster... That... Is actually what you have to look at... And go to... For the second bonus level. Nice little sci-fi movie of sorts called Robot Rebel Ranch... And if you approach it, Ed and Nettie basically decide to live out that movie. Or at least live it out their way via the powers of imagination. Because, of course, young kids, especially young boys, sci-fi movies, lasers, killer robots, what have you. Anyway, let's go ahead and play the level. Mighty Space Outlaws! The time has come to seek freedom! Yes! I can see way in the distance! Look! Well, what are we waiting for? Get me out of here! Do not waylay yourself, Eddie, or I will darn us the lid! Well, Ed just got himself captured, so it's just Double D and Eddie for the time being. Obviously, we need to find a space rocket, but we need to find Ed first. And we will have to go through this barren planet landscape. At least that's what it is in the Ed's imaginations to get the said space rocket. And, of course, rescue Ed. There are three jawbreakers, and I am going to find all of them. It should be noted that everyone is in costume of some sort. Everyone's wearing a colander on their heads and are wearing some sort of thing on their shirts. Some sort, sort of metal stuff that's supposed to look like armor. Double D's weapons change in this level. Instead of a ruler, you have a lightsaber with a lot more range. And the water balloon slingshot becomes a laser gun. Which is actually pretty cool. You still have only so much range with the 
gun, though. You can't shoot from, like, super far away. you got to be a certain distance in order to hit enemies, though. And that may lead to enemies coming after you because you got too close to them. Like the robot dogs or the red robots that will be on the platforms above sometimes. Thankfully, the enemies here drop ample amounts of energy in case you need to get your hit points back. As long as you fight enemies off from a good distance, you can easily take them out long before they can get to you. Which is a good thing. Because getting zapped in this level is no fun. Also, the toxic drums from the sewers are back. You want to make sure to take care of those so you don't get hit a whole bunch. And for some reason, you get... You enter the hit animation when you come out of first-person mode. Like, as soon as you hit R2, you get to see Eddie taking the hit. Also, we want to get rid of some of these toxic drums. Wait for the radiation to decide to get our first jawbreaker. Again, first of three. And now we've got plenty of dogs and red robots to take care of. And we should definitely take care of them. Preferably without getting zapped a whole lot. I could probably hit this one and maybe this one. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I managed to hit that one. There we go, they're gone. And we have some electrical barriers. We definitely don't want to run into those, and we definitely need to turn them off if we have any hope of getting further ahead in the level. Alright. And there is a green robot right there. These things can snipe us from a good distance away. So we need to make sure that we can hit them. And now, it's time to get rid of some enemies. I'm going to go close up this time. This green thing here is an enemy spawner. Sometimes it will spawn the dog robots. You destroy one, another one will show up immediately. And sometimes they'll spawn the red robots. If you smack them with the melee weapon enough times, they will eventually be destroyed. Of course, you definitely want to heal up with the energy that you get from the enemies before you destroy the spawners, because... While health isn't exactly hard to get a hold of, you still want, want it to be readily available. And by going over here, you can wreck some stuff. And sometimes you can even open up, open up a pathway. Let us now go over here. We got two red robots going, going in for us. We got the green robot shooting at us again. Definitely want to destroy the spawner so that way we have a much easier time getting through here. And what is shooting at me? Okay, it's you. I'm just going to get in close and just keep hitting this guy. Now, sadly, the green robots give out no energy, which is a shame. Because if you may be needing energy, and those things may be shooting at you, may, and they may be the only thing around. Intriguing. But unfortunately, the enemies that constantly spawn in, the red robots and the dogs, are the only ones that do. Hmm, so by work. getting... So by activating and playing around with the, the uh, keypad on the over here, we can get to the other one that we just played around with moments ago. And by doing that... 
we can go over here. And as much as I would like hmm, this should work. to fight off some robots, I do want to get rid of the spawners. Getting rid of the spawners would be a really good decision on my part. Makes it easier to get rid of some enemies. Also, when destroying the spawners, be sure to run around in a circle. Makes it harder for you to get hit by the enemies. And I definitely don't want to run into the uh, barriers. That would be terrible. And for some reason, you are destroyed no matter what. I don't know if this is the bug or a glitch in the game. But for some reason, this thing is just always deactivated. It was like that in the practice run. Yeah, that did hit me. It's always like that in the practice run. My, my. And it's always it's like this when I'm doing this for real. For the internet. Anyway, we hit that. That's right, we gotta my, hit the uh, keypad it's near reading. the spawner. And then we can go this way. Now we're in a more open area, full of dogs and a couple of red robots. If I can take care of that, we're golden. Definitely want to beat up the robots too. In case we lose a lot of energy, we can always get health back from them. Destroy that to open up a path, and from here we need to deal with more enemies. Okay. Oh, I see what this does. By destroying these things, we destroy the turrets. We destroy the little green tur turret robots, and we don't have to deal with them. That's why I'm always seeing that one green one disabled no matter what. It's just me being thorough and destroying what I can get my hands on when I can. That's actually what it boils down to. Okay. Well, we have more places to go and, well, this area right here is one of them. We are now at full health, but I still want to be dreadfully careful. Don't know why they're cloning Jimmy's here, but they are. And by they, I mean the evil robots that are on this planet. I don't know why I keep grabbing energy when I'm full on it, but well, might as well. And I might as well take care of what is here. If I go over here, in this corner, we get a jawbreaker. That's our second for... What was that? Time to get rid of you. Because I know you're going to give me a hard time. Let us refill on energy and then take care of the green turret robots because I know they're going to get in the way eventually. Let's go over here. Everything is easier to fight if you're double D. Without a shadow of a doubt. You definitely want to play as double D the whole time in this level. And I am way too close to this thing. Why am I way too close to these things? Well, at least I got a little bit of health back, and there's plenty of checkpoints in this my, level, but, my. well, it's I don't really want to deal with losing all of my health now, do I? This is the next area we need to go to. Might as well fight this robot from a distance. See what else we can do. Which... Is it going to be much? Go ahead and get rid of that, and I think we need to hit this next. That is indeed what we do next. And I need to get rid of you. Like, super quick. 
All right. Get rid of the spawner. The spawner's gonna be a pain. And there is Ed. But we need to hit something in order to free him. And it's going to be that green looking antennae thing that powers all of the turret robots that we've been seeing. Maybe we'll see one of those and we can destroy it. That would definitely help. And thankfully, I know where it is. We need to go up the stairs here. Like right there where the uh, glass banisters are. Banisters. I meant to say barriers. Yeah, you just want to get rid of the robots and the spawner here. That way, you can hit up this little keypad here and free Ed. My, my. I want to go again! Enough of that, guys! We still need to find the space rocket so we can get out of here! <laughs> okay, Eddie. Alright, we finally have Ed again. Oh. Oh. I still want to play as Double D. And I still want to take care of these guys because they're going to keep firing at me if I let them. Now we need to go elsewhere. I'm going to need to take care of this first. Need to take care of the spawner too. We'll get plenty of energy from the enemies here. Assuming I don't die. It would be great if I didn't die. Or get hit a whole lot at the very least. There we go. Doing a little better on health now. And we need to be super careful as we go through here. Take care of these green guys as soon as possible. Also want to take care of this guy too. That would really help. And of course we have a dog robot just don't stay in one place and just take care of this guy and you should be all right but of course that leads to us finding out there's a spawner up there this is also the one time in this level where we have to use a trample ed press l1 with ed right here press triangle not triangle but square to get up here destroy the spawner now the dog's gone and mm, use double d on the keypad that dog skull's still gonna be down there. Let's go ahead and make sure we hit that enemy three times. Whoa. Okay, we wasted too much time. Whenever you hit a keypad that op that turns off one of the barriers, you don't want to waste too much time. Otherwise, the barrier will come back and you'll have to deactivate it again. And now, we have another little area on the trail with the spawner, two dogs, and a red robot. Definitely want to fight on here and eventually get over to the here. Take out the robots here. If I can somehow hit them. Got knocked back a little bit. That's okay. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a slightly better time here. We need to go up there and hit the hit up the keypad. So that way we can get rid of the get through the barrier here. At the same time though, I still have a couple of enemies that I need to deal with including the green turret robots. If I can get rid of them, that would help me out a great deal. 
Yeah, just want to stay away from the green turret robots here and then shoot them down once we are here. Just work on them one at a time. There we go. Lost a little bit of health, but that's okay. I probably should have saved it. Now we need to run down here and get past the barricade. We have another area where we need to fight our way through. But if I can run around and swing the lightsaber a lot, we can get rid of those two dogs. And we can also help ourselves get rid of these things. Definitely makes sense to get rid of the green turret robots here. I forgot they were right there. And now we need to move on ahead and take care of the enemies that are here. That would help a great deal. Let's go ahead and shoot the dog. Might as well save ourselves the headache. And now, we need to go over here. Welcome to the final part of this place. Myself while the two of you make your escape. Just think of me whenever you eat green skin. I don't think that will be necessary, Ed. These laser swords are much more effective. But we won't be using them. Instead, we need to destroy these four antenna. Oh, I died. Well, it looks like I'll be. Wa wa trying, trying horribly not to watch that ever again. Jeez, I'm gonna have to destroy everything with double D here. Oh, that's already destroyed. And it stayed destroyed. Interesting. Let us run around in a circle super quickly and just hit all these things. Whoa, I fell down there. I forgot you could do that. Matter of fact, I didn't even know you could do that. Come on. Okay, I have to press X to get out of that. And as much as I would like to use the turrets, what you can do is go over to this area here. Ow. Jump onto this platform. And then jump up here with Ed. Double D, rather. And you can get the third and last jawbreaker. Now we kind of need to hide behind this wall in a way. And we need to position yourself ourselves so that we are behind the wall, but we can see the left cannon of this robot. This boss enemy. Yes, we have another boss enemy. You want to have the cannon here dead center. And you just want to keep shooting directly at it. The boss will never see you. And the boss will be unable to shoot at you. And even if it could, it wouldn't do a whole lot of damage to you. You can just stay in this one position. And you can just keep shooting. And just tear this boss to ribbons. All I need now is a couple more shots, and I should be able to get this done. Brilliant. Current game completion, 99%. Let's watch the closing cutscene. Not the 
I am my lovable baby sister. It's time for dinner. Mom, Dad, get moving! Killjoy! And we are now back at the cul-de-sac with 99% game completion. Let's go ahead and look at the two, actually the three jawbreakers that we got. We now have all of the normal jawbreakers and we have all but two. Let's go ahead and look at the three that we have. Australian Adventure, crunchy bite-sized parrot droppings. Cantonese Paradise, chewy seaweed and tongue surprise. Interesting. And Freeze Me, imported from Greenland's, Greenland's Glaciers. So it tastes like an ice cube then. Even though it's colored brown. Okay, game. And this collection of jawbreakers... It has really filled up. We have two jawbreakers left to go. And all we have left to do once we get to the what is it? The uh, playground I'll show you. We have two more jawbreakers to get. And I need 300 coins. One of them is going to cost 138 coins, and the other one is going to cost 162. But if we can get them, we will achieve 100% game completion in Ed and Nettie, The Misadventures. So join me next time where we come back here with 300 coins after farming for coins in Scam 6 and what else am I going to do? I could show off the Easter eggs. I can show off the movies, and then I can give my final thoughts on this game. Can't believe I'm going to complete this again. Huh. Interesting. Didn't think I could complete this so well and so fast, but, well, here we are. So, yeah, join me next time for the last two Jawbreakers 100% game completion and all the unlockable secrets that I can show off and my final thoughts on the game. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!